What's up everyone? This is Lodge with Financial Anatomy, coming at you with another video on how to take control of your financial destiny. Here on this channel, we talk about personal finance, side hustles, apps that involve money in some form, and investing. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the last two, which is investing in apps that have something to do with money in the form of M1 Finance. So M1 Finance is an investing platform that you can use to invest your money. It's mostly known for its autonomous features, which makes it very appealing for long-term investors. If you're not familiar with M1 Finance, I've actually done a review of the whole platform in this video, so you can check this video out if you want an overview of the platform. Assuming you're already somewhat familiar with the concept of what it is, in this specific video, we're gonna be going over how do you deposit money in the M1 Finance app and platform. The interface isn't exactly beginner friendly, and it may be a little complicated to figure out how to do simple tasks. So we're gonna give a visual demonstration of me depositing $100 in my M1 Finance account. So let's move over to the app itself so I can show you. So the first thing we're gonna do is open the M1 Finance tab up, or app rather. And this acts in for my PIN number. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. And once you reach this screen, we're gonna show exactly how to deposit money into your account. Keep in mind that this isn't buying a stock or investing it in your portfolio unless you have auto invest on, this is just moving money to your account. So the first thing you wanna do, you see this line right above where it says manage pie, we're gonna actually slide that upwards. When we slide that upwards, it has the option for us to deposit cash. As you can see, my auto invest is off, so any money I put in the account is just gonna sit in the account until I tell it what to do. So I'm gonna click on deposit. And for this example, I'm going to transfer $100. Keep in mind that the minimum that you have to transfer in order to do a deposit is $10. So I'm gonna type in $100. And whatever bank account that you have linked to M1 Finance is where the money's gonna come from. Now, if you have more than one bank account linked, then that's when you can choose which one that you want. I only have uh, one link, so we're gonna go ahead and continue. Next, you need to decide exactly where is the money going to go to. Now, if you only have one account in a one portfolio, there's only one place it could go. But if you have multiple ones, you press the two and then you will pick exactly where you want it to go. It's going exactly where it needs to go. So I'm going to go ahead and press continue. Then I'm going to click the transfer button. It's going to ask me to confirm the transfer and it's letting me know that this will happen the next business day. So right now it's 632 p.m. The transfer won't actually pull the money out of my account until tomorrow. Then depending on your bank, it may come the same day or it may take a day or two. You'll have to experiment to see exactly which one of those two is going to be. Each bank is differently. I bank with Chase and the same day it pulls the money out is the same day it hits the account in M1 Finance for me. But it may be different for your banking institution. You won't know fully until you actually do this. So that's just something to keep note of. I'm going to hit confirm transfer. And now the transfer is done and the money will be pulled out of my Chase account tomorrow and put into my M1 Finance account. We can click on View Transfer Details. And this gives the details of the transfer. Now, if for some reason you uh, want to cancel the transfer, as long as it's on the same day that you put it in, you can actually cancel the transfer. I don't want to do that because I want the money in the account, but that's just good to know. So I'm going to back out of that and now I have money on the way. You'll know for sure that the transfer is in the process of going through because it'll say however much that you want to transfer is pending and it'll stay in pending until the money hits your account. An alternative way that you can deposit money is to click on transfers and click on move money. Then you want to select the one-time transfer and then select the accounts that you want the transfer to come from and go to. Then hit the amount that you want to transfer. So let's say if I wanted to do the same thing, transfer $100, I'll just pick the accounts. Then I would enter $100. Now I've already uh, transferred, I've already deposited the money, so I'm not gonna do that a second time, but 
I just wanted to show y'all this alternative way that you can also deposit money. So we have now covered how to deposit money in your M1 Finance account. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below, as well as subscribe if you're new, if you wanna know more about the M1 Finance platform. Also, if you haven't signed up for M1 Finance and you're interested in it, they do have a sign-on bonus that usually ranges between five and $30. You can get that sign on bonus by clicking on the link in the description or in the pinned comment. For disclosure, that is an affiliate link and it does go towards supporting the channel. And as a closing remark in terms of depositing money in M1 Finance, if you don't want that money to be automatically sent out to your portfolio, you want to make sure that auto invest is off. If you want that, make sure that it's on. If you don't know what auto invest is or how to turn the feature on and off, you want to check out this video on the screen. I will catch y'all in the next video. Don't forget to get out there and take control of your financial destiny.